Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Coaster Child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. So welcome to a theme park predictions video. This is it, the final predictions videos of 2021 going into 2022, the 2022 predictions. Uh, now, I'm recording this before Fiesta Texas releases their uh, last teaser for their coaster uh, or whatever they're adding for 2022. Uh, that's been revealed tonight in terms of the morning uh, while I'm in bed. So, uh, I won't be able to see that teaser until tomorrow. So, obviously, my Fiesta Texas prediction can change a little bit. Uh, but... Um, this is what I'm going with as of before the final teaser is revealed. Uh, so this is my final predictions for Six Flags Parks for 2022. Some of them will be delayed editions from previous year or two. Some of them will be new editions, so there's going to be a real mix in there. Obviously, there's no chain-wide announcement videos anymore. They've stopped doing them, so it will be individual park announcements when and where they do it. Uh, so, we know that Fiesta Texas will announce those on the 28th, on the Wednesday, tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, where we do my reaction from that. I, I, I may do a live stream. Comment down below if you want a live stream for that one. Uh, but we're going to watch, uh, we're going to have a look at my final prediction. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that case box in every YouTube video. Go to the description down below for social media links, the Google Forms link, where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And stay tuned today because, as it's final predictions, I'm releasing the Six Flags, Cedar Fair, and Million Entertainment videos on the same flipping day. So you guys get three videos at least in one day. We do have a lot of Halloween updates that I've been meaning to record over the last couple of days as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. As well as a couple of Halloween updates I've been meaning to upload over the last few days, so stay tuned for all of them. And for now, guys, let's have a look at my Six Flags final predictions for 2022. So we start off with Frontier City. Now, my early prediction was the relocation of Goliath from Six Flags New England. Uh, now, my spring prediction was the same thing again. Goliath relocated uh, to Frontier City. I'm sticking with that prediction. So, my prediction for Frontier City is they're going to invest in Goliath from Six Flags New England, open it as Pandemonium. Now, there are a couple of locations they could go for, um, but I do personally believe that Pandemonium, as it will be known, will open in 2022 at Frontier City. Next up, the Great Escape theme park. Now, I have decided in my early prediction to go with a Zamperla Endeavor uh, next to Canyon Blaster. In the spring prediction, I went with a Zamperla Endeavor replacing the giant wheel. And I've gone with that prediction. I've gone with the giant wheel being torn down. Obviously, we knew it was torn down anyway. And it'll be replaced by Skyflyer, a Zamperla Endeavor attraction. And I think that's a perfect ride for the Great Escape. I think that a, a wonderful... Uh, sort of family thrill ride would be perfect for the park. And I think it'd be a wonderful addition to uh, the Great Escape. So, San Pella Endeavour all the way. Next up, La Ronde in Montreal, Canada. Now, obviously, my prediction will not change from the early and spring predictions videos. It is going to be the delayed Vipair, uh, the Intamin Zaxpin, formerly known as Green Lantern First Flight from 2011 to 2018-2019 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Uh, so, obviously, Vipair is the big prediction here. Um... I think that's not changed. I think that's always been my prediction with the run, to be honest. So uh, I knew that VPair was going to be uh, on its way uh, in 2022. We knew it was being delayed at that point. So uh, Laurent, no surprise there. Opening VPair in 2022. Next up, Six Flags America. And this one's been a hard one to predict. So my early prediction was an SNS launch coaster near the Penguin Blizzard River and replacing the Whistle Stop Park area of the theme park. Now, my spring prediction changed into a Zampilla Endeavor or a Tsunami Surge Water Ghoster in Hurricane Harbor, replacing Zoomers on Falls. Now, my final prediction, I believe, will be a Zampilla Endeavor flat ride. Now, this uh, could be as well as the Tsunami Surge. The Tsunami Surge could be in the Zoomers on Falls area. And then the Splashdown area of Zoomers on Falls could be part of the theme park now. And we have a Zampella Endeavor in that slot. So maybe a Zampella Endeavor and some kind of Tsunami Surge or some kind of water coaster uh, in most of the Zoomers on Falls area. And then the Splashdown area gets transformed into an area for a Zampella Endeavor. Whether it's called Sky Flyer or Spin Sanity, whatever it's called. Uh, I think a Zampella Endeavor is the perfect family thrill ride for America. 
Uh, so I think that's what I'm going for with Six Flags America. Next up, Darien Lake. Now, I've done many predictions with this one, ranging from family rides to a thrill ride. And I've gone specifically with my early prediction. Now, whether it's going to be near the Scrambler, which is what I predicted in my early predictions video, I'm not too sure. But there was the rumour from last year from Six Flags about a possible screaming swing being added to the chain. And I think Darien Lake's the perfect, perfect um, sort of you know, sort of park to do it. And I think that the 20 meter tall, 45 miles per hour, max speed screaming swing is perfect for Darien Lake. A perfect thrill ride for a growing Six Flags park. So I think that the screaming swing will be a perfect thrill ride addition to Six Flags Darien Lake. Next up, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. It's very simple here. Sidewinder Safari. It will be opening in 2022, in my opinion, and the advertisements prove it. Sidewinder Safari, delayed from 2020 and 2021, will open in 2022. Very easy prediction here with Discovery Kingdom. All too easy indeed. Uh, of course, this is the Zamperla Twister Coaster. Um, also known on, on the Roller Coaster Tycoon games as the Wild Mouse Twister Coaster. <laughs> uh, the nice tight turns, the raging Cajun of coasters for Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. And I think that this would be a wonderful addition anyway for the family. So uh, a wonderful coaster for Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Indeed, and long time no see. It finally arrives. Next up, Fiesta Texas. Now, I, I said to you guys before uh, at the start of the video that this could change, barring on what happens with this final teaser, um, you know, obviously tonight. So, obviously, it's going to be a change. We'll see what happens. I'll do a video tomorrow on the final teaser and sort of get my predictions from that, cross-reference it with my uh, final prediction here. But I'm sticking with this prediction. I've gone with it. I'm sticking with it. Replacing the Sundance Theatre, I'm going with Apocalypse, an SNS Axis Coaster. Now, the name came from a JB Thrills video, and um, I sort of like that name. I think that's the perfect name for, uh, for, for this particular coaster. I think Apocalypse, an Axis Coaster, the world's first Axis Coaster, um, at Fiesta Texas is a perfect addition for the park and I think that it's perfect for uh, Fiesta Texas market as well so that's what I'm going with with this one Next up, Six Flags Great Adventure, and how do you top Jersey Devil Coast of the year previously? You bring in the little version. So, I think for 2022, they're going to reopen Roadrunner Railway into Lil Devil Coast. And some people say it'll open late 2021. I'm sticking with 2022 on my predictions. Now, as well as this, or as replacement to this prediction, if this does happen in, in the uh, sort of end of 2021 rather than 2022, I think they'll still do what I predicted from the start, and that is replace Bugs Bunny now. National Park with Bugs Bunny Boomtown with a collection of Zamperla family rides as described uh, in the rumour from last year from Six Flags. So I think that those Zamperla family rides will be part of a revamp of the Bugs Bunny National Park into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Uh, so very family related prediction here in terms of new attractions for Six Flags Great Adventure. Next up, Six Flags Great America, and I predicted this in my early predictions, just not in my spring predictions. I'm going with a ride that they've needed for a long time, and that is a Zamperla Giant Discovery uh, Frisbee ride. Now, whether it's called Crazanity, or Spin Sanity, or theme to dc i don't know but i think the giant discovery is perfect now you're probably thinking they've already got a frisbee ride parks have two versions of the same ride it is possible and it's very six flags sometimes so you know it's not the biggest surprise for me if they go with the giant discovery and keep one of their current frisbee rides as well so i think that's the perfect thing for me so i think that a giant discovery is perfect for their thrill rides lineup uh, perfect attraction for their rides lineup and uh, a long time coming here for uh, for Six Flags Great America. And to be fair, in my early prediction, I did predict this would replace the Revolution, which is their current Frisbee ride. So I think that, could you imagine if they introduced the Giant Discovery and named it the New Revolution? It would be a very Six Flags thing to do. So that's my where I stand on Great America. Next up, Magic Mountain. Again, another very easy one to predict here. We predicted this from the start. We knew it from the start. It is is the RMC single rail coaster. Now, I predicted the Joker theme. However, with the arrival of the yellow track, I don't think we're looking at Joker anymore. I think we're looking at either Wonder Woman or The Flash. And I've gone bold with my prediction. 
I've decided in the end to go with the Flash Speed Coaster. Very Six Flags name, I know, but don't be surprised if I get this right. But I will be not surprised if I get this wrong because my luck truly isn't on sometimes. Uh, but I've gone with the name The Flash Speed Coaster. I think it's a perfect Six Flagsy name for a DC ride. Obviously, it will be an RMC single rail, similar kind of layout to Jersey Devil. Uh, it will replace Tidal Wave, the Shoot the Shoots ride, and of course, the Green Lantern First Fight, which is now going to be at La Ronde for next year as V-Pair. Uh, so Magic Mountain have got themselves a new record-breaking roller coaster. Next up, Six Flags Mexico, and I think this is another part to get the Zamperla Endeavor flat ride. I could be wrong, but I could be right. Uh, I did say it would be opposite the Joker in my early prediction video. That could be the case. However, uh, I think any location that you guys think relevant will do. Uh, so I think Mexico will add the Zamperla Endeavor, but again, I could be wrong. But I think that's a good family thrill ride for, for Six Flags Mexico. And hopefully not too long in the distant future, in the next one or two years, hopefully. It, will, it won't be long before uh, Mexico gets their next big addition. So I'm hoping that Mexico gets a nice big addition uh, in the near future. But for, the, for next year anyway, it will be a family thrill ride but I think an Endeavour is a perfect ride for Mexico next up Six Flags New England and obviously there's going to be some predictions left right and centre from other people as to what will happen here but I personally believe they're going to go with an addition for the water park and I think they're going to go with Tsunami Surge or Python's Plunge whichever you prefer Six Flags uh, now obviously Tsunami Surge is going to be a wonderful addition I think it would be a great addition to the water park uh, perfect for uh, the water park goers, for the water park fans. I think it would be a nice new water coaster. Maybe it could break records for a water coaster. It could be a record breaker for the water park. Uh, and I think that overall, I think it could be really good. I think it would be a wonderful um, addition to New England's water park, Hurricane Harbour. So I think that I'd be a fan of this. So uh, I reckon this would be a good addition. Don't be surprised, New England, if you do get this. Because I think it's a great addition anyway. But I think New England's time will come for a new coaster in the next year or two. So I don't think it's too long until New England's next new addition. Or big addition, should we say, for the, for the theme park. But I think for next year, a nice water park addition will do just fine. Next up, Six Flags Over Georgia. And this is another big addition for 2020, 2022. Let's say 2021 there. Uh, now, this will be replacing Splash Waterfalls. We see all the words taking in place around there now i've gone with a sns max 4 style compressed air launch coaster called crazanity uh so this is what i've gone for uh, i think I, I sort of went with the thunder rapids predictions uh for the early and spring predictions so you know i was way off until now uh, and I think with the work taking place over Splash Waterfalls over the last couple of months, I think that's probably why my predictions changed so drastically for this last predictions video for this year. I think that with the um, with the change in the work taking place on the Splash Waterfalls site, I think that with the work taking place there, I think that it's... I think over the last couple of months, I think it's been uh, quite a, a perfect addition. And I think that... I think with the word taking place, it changed the prediction entirely. So I think that a Max Force style launch coaster where Splash Water Falls is, is pretty perfect for Over Georgia. A perfect coaster addition. So um, I think this is a great addition for Over Georgia, and it's about time they got a new coaster. Next up, Six Flags Over Texas. And again, a very easy prediction this one. Aquaman Power Wave delayed from 2020 and 2021. Obviously, with its new turntable edition, which has been rumoured as part of the delay. Uh, I think that this is perfect, replacing the Aquaman Splashdown ride, the Shoot the Shoots ride, the Mac Power Splash coming in. Now, as well as that, I do believe for 2022 they're going to bring back uh, Sp Spelunker's Cave, Spelunker's Cave um, which is going to replace Yosemite Sam's Gold River Adventure. So I think we're going to get two new rides for 2022 for Over Texas as part of the anniversary celebration. So I think maybe Six Flags could promote it as a bit of a hat trick of investments. So the return of Spelunker's Cave, uh, Aquaman Power Wave, and then some 60th anniversary celebrations. So I think that Overtex could debut a hat trick of investments for this uh, particular season. So that's what I'm personally going with. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. So um, we'll, we'll see. But I think Overtex will have pretty much a, an anniversary season. But um, I do believe that this could be uh, a very exciting one for uh, celebrations for Overtexas. And then finally for Six Flags New England, Catwoman's Whip will now be located on the Superman Tower of Power site, not 
at the Speedodrome go-kart site near the boss. I think that's a very good choice of new sites. I think that that's a great choice. Obviously delayed from 2020 and 2021 originally the attraction. Uh, the fun time booster or the vominator I've heard from some places. Uh, now, obviously with the change in sites, that's going to bring about a lot of speculation. I would love to see RMC the boss. I think take away the go-kart, she's got a nice piece of land to work with as part of the RMC treatment. Uh, but I think that's more 2023, 2024, that kind of investment. So I think St. Louis's time could be arriving soon, uh, but it's just a case of when and if. So I think that next year, just focus on opening this delayed attraction. But I think that time will come and it won't be too long away now. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. Ooh, took a lot of my wind out of my sails, but that is it. That is the final 2022 predictions for Six Flags theme parks. Now, like I said, multiple investments in there. Water park additions, family rides, thrill rides, coasters, uh, celebrations for Overtech's anniversary. Obviously, there was a rumor a few months ago that they were going to introduce a coaster into every, or technically a coaster into every single park uh, for, for next year, but I'm not too sure how true that is. There was rumors about uh, Six Flags America getting a Raptor coaster at some point, but I'm not too sure how true those rumors are. Probably squashed at this point. So I think it's a traditional Six Flags year, a mixture of investments, but we'll see how they unfold over the, over the coming months when they're all announced. So should be interesting, but that is going to be it. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Chow. Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys next video, which is going to be the Cena Fair predictions and then the Million Entertainment predictions. Take care, guys. Have a Six Flags fantastic day. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.